Joining us now is Dr. Shirley Mung. Shirley, great to see you. Hello. Also, congratulations on having been named as the Editor-in-Chief of MRS Energy and Sustainability. So let's start with that journal itself. It's been around since 2014. What is MRS Energy and Sustainability all about? MRS is a society um, that really takes a great interest in how those materials development have an impact on the sustainability of the planet. Very beginning, the journal is to promote uh, all the wonderful content that have been presented in our MRS conferences. And in fact, the journal is unique in the MRS portfolio in that its intended audience is, of course, materials researchers, but it also has a sociological and political aspect. So what is the importance of this broadly interdisciplinary approach? We really want to emphasize that uh, uh, science, technology, particularly in the field of uh, energy technologies, really need to have a deep connection with the society because ultimately what we do at the fundamental science level and apply the research level uh, should reach out to the public and have an impact on our society. So uh, the journal is very uniquely to position ourselves to be a platform where uh, people outside of the MRS community learn what we're doing and then we reach out to social scientists, economists, the policy makers uh, to help them make uh, uh, rational decisions sure. regarding the sustainability issues. So in addition to your role as editor-in-chief, you're also a professor of nanoengineering and materials research at the University of California, San Diego. I want you to tell me more about your background and how you came to be interested in energy and sustainability aspects of your research. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, trained as a material scientist at MIT uh, and working on energy storage materials, AKA battery materials. Right. Yeah, so my research uh, when I was a PhD student was really working on how to replace the component in your battery is called cobalt, which is a very unsustainable material. Uh, There's limit okay. to the supplies. So I was working on replacing that with more abundant metals such like manganese and nickel. So that got me started in materials research. And uh, the fact is that most of today's um, lithium ion batteries uh, in the electric vehicle, they use only you know, 10 or 15% of the cobalt. Uh, majority of it is uh, abundant elements like nickel and aluminum oh, or manganese. Okay. So we're already kind of transitioning over. Yes, in the last uh, 15 years. And what drew you at first to energy and sustainability? Uh, I believe that uh, this is actually our generation scientist responsibility that yeah. we need to find solutions for tackle the climate change uh, because of the intermittencies of uh, wind and the solar. Uh, without the batteries, those renewable sources cannot be deployed. Uh, you have to store the energy somewhere. Exactly, right? yeah. So batteries is a key enabler uh, for the renewable sources. Mm. And, uh, you know, for my current uh, research group, we have a group of uh, 40 scientists in my group, uh, students and postdocs, uh, working tirelessly on uh, enabling large grid storage, enable batteries that has very high energy density but never catch fires, and enable batteries that uh, possibly can last for 30 years instead of just three years. Right. Yeah, so there are a lot of uh, very, very fascinating uh, material science related problems and uh, challenges to be resolved. So I'm really like, I think I picked a good career. I think you did as well. Very exciting. And just quickly, Tell me about the future for the journal. Where do you see it going in, in the near future? So I, um, my vision for the MRS Energy and Sustainability is really we want to be the number one journal for materials, uh, energy materials research that uh, showcase the convergent research among science, technology, social science, economics, and the policy. The picture of a bright future cannot be realized with only scientists and engineers, that we really have to bring the society at large to come work together with us to you know, bring our work to impact the society in a much more agile fashion. That is a great vision. Dr. Shirley Mung, thanks for your time. My pleasure.